Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the monitoring modes in Reaper. I have a track in front of me here, and I want to record some guitar. So I have my input set up right here to where my guitar is plugged in, right here. And I'm going to go into record so I can record a guitar part. But if I play my guitar, watch what happens. I can see it on the meter right here, but I'm not actually hearing it. Because by default, Reaper has monitoring turned off. Here's the button right here. See it's grayed out? And you can see the tooltip in yellow saying record monitoring is off. So what you want to do is click it once, and that changes the mode to be on. See the tooltip now? Record monitoring on. So now if I play my guitar, I see the meter move, but I also hear the guitar. Now if I go back to the first mode by clicking this twice, if I actually record the guitar, watch what happens. Again, we don't hear it, but I see it in the meter and we see it's being recorded. So it's still being recorded. And if I play it back, I can then hear it. So in this mode, with monitoring turned off, it's useful for when you're monitoring through a console or if you're using software that came with your audio interface that allows direct monitoring, low latency monitoring. If you're using any of those things, you might want to leave this off. But if you want to monitor through Reaper as you're recording, you're going to want to leave this on. So you can hear your guitar through Reaper when you're actually recording it. Now there is another mode. If we go over here and click it again, it switches to auto mode. Look at the tooltip, recording mode auto. This is also known as tape mode. And what this is going to do is we're still going to hear the guitar if we play it, as long as the transport isn't moving. And if we go into record, we're also going to hear it. But if we just hit play and play the guitar, see the meter's moving, it's obviously not recording, and we also don't hear it. We're only going to hear it if we're in record. Check it out. I'll hit play, then I'll punch in, punch out, and we don't hear it. So in this mode, we only hear the guitar or any input while we're recording. And let me show you why that's useful. Let's say we recorded a part, and we wanted to punch in after the fact. Let's record a bit. Now let's say we want to redo from bar four to bar five. We want to punch that in. If we switch this to monitoring on, but not auto mode, we're going to hear our guitar as we're ready for the punch. So we're going to hear two guitars. We'll only hear one guitar when we're punched in. But when we're punched out, we're going to hear both. And if you don't want that, just switch this to auto mode. With tape auto mode, now watch what happens. I'm going to play along the whole time, but I'm going to punch in from bar four to bar five, and we're only going to hear the guitar or my new guitar part when we're punched in. Check it out. So in this mode, I only heard input on my live guitar in this section right here. All the other times, I heard the previous recording that was already on the track. So that's the difference between the different modes. And you can toggle them just by hitting this button from off to on to tape auto mode. But you could also right click to switch them. If we right click this button, 
You can see right here, monitor input, tape auto style, or if we turn it off, there's no monitoring at all. When neither one is checked, now by default, if we create a new track in Reaper, let's double click down here, we can see that monitoring is turned off. Obviously you can switch it each time to on and auto mode, but if you have a preference, we could change the default in Reaper's preferences. Let's delete this track. Let's go to our preferences over here, preferences, and we'll go down on the project to track send defaults. Right over here, we could choose the preference for new tracks. If we click it, we see it says it right here. This setting below will be applied to new tracks. So again, by default, this is turned off. But we could turn it on here to monitor input. And now if we make a new track, it's set to monitor input by default. Or we could change it to tape auto style. And now that's on by default. Or we could leave it turned off completely to go back to Reaper's default. So that's pretty much it. Those are the monitoring modes in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.